Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Baldur's Gate 3, the early access version. So first of all, we wanna make sure that your Windows is uh, properly set up. So write game mode, whoops, game mode over there. Open your game mode and make sure that game mode is at off. It's causing like stuttering and some issue with your FPS. Uh, not for everybody, but honestly, it's not worth it for now. The Xbox game bar, make sure that you disable this and make sure to, that you disable all, all those capture stuff, background recording and recorded audio. Another thing, uh, make sure that you update your drivers. If you have Nvidia, AMD or even Intel, uh, the integrated video card, make sure that you're going on the website of Intel. Make sure that you update your driver. It's really important. This game is considered like a AAA game. So for sure, uh, Nvidia, AMD and Intel will release dedicated uh, drivers. So make sure that you have the latest one to make sure that you optimize your game. Another thing is uh, if you have the latest, uh, the, the latest version of Windows 10, so the version 2004, Right GPU in your search bar, open the graphics setting and make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. I have a dedicated video to explain what it's doing. Uh, if you have an high end computer and even mid range, you will not necessarily see a difference. But if you have a low end computer or a laptop, uh, for me on my laptop, I got like three to four percent boost in my FPS. So uh, that's a good uh, boost that you can get over there for free. One more thing, when you launch the game, you have two different API, you have Vulkan by default and you have DirectX 11. I did uh, some tests with both. Honestly, I, I'm not getting more FPS with DirectX 11 and I feel that Vulkan is a little bit like more stable on my computer. I, my FPS are more stable, but my uh, computer is pretty recent. I have an RTX 2070 and I have a Ryzen 9 3900X. But if you have like an older, like old video card four years ago, five years ago, stuff like that, you can definitely test DirectX 11 if you feel that you're having issue with your Vulkan. It will probably help you. Uh, I did a test on an old laptop with a GTX 960, but the mobile version and DirectX 11 run a little bit smoother than Vulkan. So uh, definitely you can test your API uh, over there. So now let's launch the game and we will optimize uh, all the graphic parameter inside of the game. So inside of the game, first thing that you really need to look at, it's your resolution. Uh, I have some kind of bug that they, they kind of upscale my resolution. So just scroll down and make sure that you have your proper resolution. For me, it's 1080p with 144 hertz. Make sure that you're using display mode. Don't use the borderless one and don't use window. You will lose FPS. So really important to use full screen. V-Sync. It's, it's a preference. Me, I'm not using VSync. I just uh, disable it. I, uh, I use the uh, frame rate cap and I put the number of frame that I'm currently using for my Earth. So for example, if you have 144 Earth screen, you just put 144 over there. If you have a 60 Earth screen, just put 60. Uh, it can help uh, people with a laptop. Don't go crazy with your FPS. If you have like a 60 Hz screen, just like at 60, you don't want to generate more heat in your computer because it, anyway, your laptop kind of struggle with heat <laughs> the way it's built, the, the, the way like your fan and stuff like that. So make sure that you're not generate more heat and causing other issues like stuttering and stuff like that. Now we will scroll a little bit down. Model quality. I versus medium, I'm getting 3% boost over there and medium versus low, I'm getting 1%. So that's why I'm currently using medium over there. Uh, I feel like low, it's not worth it. Instance distance, this one is really important. I to low, you will gain 5%. So nice chunk over there. Texture quality, it really depends on your VRAM. If you have more uh, than four gig of VRAM on your GPU, go with I, three gig medium, two gig low, and less than two gig, go with very low. Texture filtering, you can easily go with 16. If you have like a really old computer or you're running the game on like an integrated video card, go with two or four. After that, lighting quality, I to medium, another 3% uh, and medium to low, I saw 1% of increase. So that's why I'm currently using medium. This one is really important. All those shadow, uncheck this, uncheck uh, the light shadows and the shadow quality, high to low. Just those, those three parameters will give you like 10% boost in your FPS. So this are really important. And TLA is in, this one is a bit weird. I compare TAA versus SMA. For me, I don't see any difference. I see difference in the image quality, but I didn't see a difference in my FPS. Uh, so definitely just test 
do, do, do some tests on your computer because sometimes like uh, an older GPU will s struggle to run like TAA. So just do some testing. If you have like a very old GPU or even an in integrated video card and you don't want to remove your Intel aliasing because you don't like the image quality, go with FXAA. Ambient occlusion is another one that can give you a lot of FPS. If I check ambient occlusion, I'm losing 4 to 5% in my FPS. So this one is really important. Uncheck it. Depth of field, I don't use that because I don't understand this <laughs> parameter. I feel like it's something for console player. You don't want like to, to have like some blurriness when you look at, at your game. So that's why I just removed depth of field. God rays, bloom, and subsurface scattering, those ones uncheck them. It you will have like four to six percent boost in your FPS. One more thing, audio. Uh, if you have a really low-end computer like a Core Zero 2 or an old i3, this can help you a lot, the sound quality. Go with low and honestly, it will your system will be more stable and you will also get more FPS. I did a test on, a, on an old laptop that I have, an HP laptop with an i3 with an integrated video card and this helped me a lot. So if you're running like on some old computer, definitely test the sound quality parameter. So that's about it, guys, for the, the guide right now. Uh, the game just released. For sure, they're going to optimize it. For me, the game is running well, but not like very well because I'm looking at the game and I'm looking at my computer that I'm currently using. And normally, I can I, I should like run this game 144 FPS uh, without any issue. And right now, I'm getting like 130, 135. So, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely they're gonna optimize and it's an early access game so they probably will they will improve this a lot so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace